EBC, economic value to the customer. We talk about capturing value, we talk about creating value. You need to calculate the financial, the economic value that you're creating for the customer. And the price that the customers will pay will generally be a subset, a percent of the value that uh, you create for them. Does this make sense? Okay, so let's figure out what the EVC is. In business markets, it's mostly financial. Mostly, not 100%, but it's mostly financial. In consumer markets, there's a big emotional component in terms of value, although there is also financial and functional value. So generally, EVC is equal to revenue increase plus cost, cost savings. So if, if I save you $100,000, that is value that I'm creating for you. If I'm adding $100,000 to your revenues, that's value that I'm creating for you. Um, switching costs, figure it out. So it's minus the switching costs plus the emotional value. This is a short formula that you can keep in your head. Revenue, cost, switching cost, and emotional value, EVC. Let me give you an example. Your company has developed a product, software, that's functionally identical to the incumbent. The customer is thinking about switching out before they pay up the next uh, million dollars for the next release. Now the difference is that your product can save 90% of development costs, meaning programmer salaries, blah, 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 and maintenance costs, upgrades, hardware, software. So far so good? So you can save 90% of post purchase costs. How would you price that product? That's the exercise. The competition is where, or the price for the comp competition is one million, plus one million in post development cost, plus one million in maintenance. Total cost of ownership. So that's what they would pay if they went with the incumbent. Now mind you, this is a brand new release, so they have to pony up the million dollars, plus all the good stuff, three million bucks. So if you save 90%, what is this gonna look like? So maintenance from one million down to 100K. Development from 1 million to 100K. Now assume your cost is 100K. So you probably shouldn't price below cost, generally speaking. The economic value that you could add to that customer, if you price at cost, and this is a minimum, would be $2.7 million. Questions? Does it make sense so far? Yes. So 90% of development costs, right. so if they save 900K. But why are they saving 90% on the product purchase price as well? We don't know the price yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just calculating the EVC. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're counting that you won't price below 100K because it's your cost. Switching costs. Switching costs. Thank you. Thank you. Is it, are they going to pay a price to switch out of a software infrastructure? So let's assume that it cost them 500K to move away. You take that away, so your EVC, the max EVC that you could have for that customer would be 2.2 million. So in order for you to figure out a price, the price would be 
100K, or otherwise you're not going to eat, plus somewhere in this range, somewhere in the range of 0 to 2.2 million. That's where your price is going to be.